All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gorgeous, it is a Tuesday, November 10th, 2021. 77 degrees here in Durham, North Carolina. And guys, uh, probably against my better judgment, I am going to have this rant one time. I have never had this rant ever one time in the history of this channel. Collapse Chronicles, Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles has never had this rant ever one time in what is it, three and a half years of doing this channel and 2,000 videos, but I did make a blunder this morning when I was doing my Chronicle of the Collapse where this fellow, uh, I can't even remember, somebody Catano from, anyway, interviewed this fellow named Guy McPherson for his article and I made, without ever mentioning Guy McPherson's name, this is the first name as far as time, as far as I know I have ever mentioned Guy McPherson's name on Collapse Chronicles. I think this is the very first time, it could not have been more than three or four times that Guy McPherson's name has ever come up on this channel, but I made the tactical error of even referring to him obliquely without ever using his name. But for the record, I wish somebody would send me one example where Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles has ever mentioned Guy McPherson's name. So I'm gonna read this comment from this person uh, and then I am going to have this rant and be done with it. We're gonna hear from unalert listener John Thornally. John Thornally. Please ban me from your personal I Hate Guy McPherson channel. I have never one time in my life say said I hate Guy McPherson. Words have never come out of my mouth. Never once have I ever uttered the words. Even if I've uttered the words Guy McPherson, I have certainly never uttered the words I hate Guy McPherson. This channel has nothing to do with Guy McPherson. Anyway, please ban me from your personal I hate Guy McPherson channel. It just gets on my nerves now. I loved it when it, meaning Collapse Chronicles, I guess, was a decent little doomer and more accurate science and climate change channel. Not so keen on the I hate Guy McPherson channel. So anyway, uh, because I made some little sideways oblique comment that I do not agree with Guy McPherson that humans will be extinct in the year 2026, that, and Guy Mc, so if you do believe that humans will be extinct in five years, that reflects a more accurate science and climate change channel uh, than Collapse Chronicles. And uh, so he has four thumbs up on the comment. Uh, and this was my comment to John Thornally and the other people thumbing up his comment. John, I am sure even someone with your limited IQ can figure out how to unsubscribe from this channel and help raise the collective IQ of folks with brains who want to have a serious but fun discussion of this subject without descending into the tired dead by 26 lunacy that gives all doomers a bad name. Goodbye and good riddance. Ditto 
for the three ALTs. ALTs, I guess I can say it once. ALTs or ass licking toadies. Uh, goodbye and good riddance. And of course, my, uh, my computer ate the rest of this. Uh, okay. As goodbye and good riddance, ditto for the three, now four, ass-licking toadies who thumbed up this comment. This channel, Collapse Chronicles, is not a debate forum for the Doomer idiocracy. Please unsubscribe and go away and tell it to someone in your little death cult. Who cares? So anyway, guys, I'm just going to uh, say this since I have never had this conversation on uh, since I began uh, this channel. Never once had a a, a video about Guy McPherson. Uh, so I am not even going to get into the ad hominem attacks on Guy McPherson's character. Uh, his personality traits, all of that, uh, it, it has nothing to do, uh, my opinion of Guy McPherson's personality, character, whatnot, is completely irrelevant to this channel, and I guess the, his opinion of me, Guy McPherson, you know, for years has been labeling me a serial liar. A ser I am a serial liar who, uh, what is his word, is common theme that I de either avoid or deny the evidence because I do not agree with Guy McPherson that humans are going to be extinct within the next five years, that I am a serial liar not uh, looking at the evidence. I have spent how many years, how many uh, thousands of videos, hundreds of interviews, and I will say of uh, the probably 200 people I have interviewed, I have never interviewed one single person. I have never interviewed one single climatologist, ecologist, biologist, physicist, never one time have I ever interviewed one single human being on Collapse Chronicles uh, believing for one minute that humans will be extinct in the next five years. <clears throat> okay, uh, just for the record, and before I'll try to make this short and sweet, uh, I have never, I have been down in this rabbit hole since, uh, 2008. I have spent 13 years down here in this rabbit hole dedicating my life, uh, to researching, you know, this subject, the, the, the most important, uh, the, the most important subject in the history of humanity. I, I, have, I have thousands and thousands of hours uh, reading everything from popular uh, science journals to, uh, you, you know, more uh, academic journals, uh, thousands of, uh, I have dedicated my life to uh, explaining, as I understand it, the story of what's going on on this planet. And for those of you who do not realize this, my background, unlike Guy McPherson, so for people who do not understand what Guy McPherson's background is, he got a Ph.D., I'm pretty sure, in desert bighorn sheep management. So, 
uh, my degree comes from journalism. I had five years of journalism school. I was a reporter and editor for seven years before I made the horrible decision to go into real estate. But five years of journalism training uh, and seven years of being a, uh, a reporter and editor dealing mostly with uh, environmental news back when I was an environmentalist. You know, before I came, became a doomer, that is my history, is, is I like to look at the facts on the table, uh, survey a wide variety of voices of intelligent who I consider to be intelligent people who have something intelligent to add to a conversation. So I always put the, you know, facts and opinions, you know, through a, what I call a, a journalism filter. It's called discernment in critical thinking that one of the major things they try to ram down your throat in journalism school is discernment and critical thinking to look at the preponderance of evidence leading to a conclusion. Okay, this is what I've been doing. I'm 62, so for over 40 years I have tried to exercise discernment and critical thinking to reach a rational conclusion. And one of the tenets of discernment and critical thinking is something called source credibility. Part of, part of the preponderance of evidence is source credibility, where you look at the person you know, stating the claim, you probably heard this, uh, what is the saying, extraordinary claims uh, require extraordinary evidence and extraordinary proof. And so it is the person making the extraordinary claim, it is the burden is on them to prove their claim. It's not on the burden of all of the other people. So when Guy McPherson, who as far as I know, as far as I know, has never taken a climatology class since the day he was born. Now he probably does know a lot about bighorn sheep management. If I need to manage my herd of desert bighorn sheep, I am going to call Guy McPherson. Okay, I, if you need to manage your herd of desert bighorn sheep, Guy McPherson is your man. All right, uh, so you go, Guy, and manage those herds of desert bighorn sheep. Uh, when I want to find out uh, the question, uh, are humans going to be extinct in five years, I, as I have done, uh, I, you know, spent years of my life, it has been the focus of my life researching uh, this question. And as I say, you know, personally interviewing uh, people who know a hell of a lot more about this subject than one of these outlandish outliers making the preposterous, absurd claim that humans are going to be extinct by the year 2026. And he's still doing it. I stumbled on a video from this guy, apparently from the past week or two, you know, still doubling down that humans are gonna be extinct uh, in, in, in the next five years, and he added even a new uh, level that the ice breaking off of Antarctica, you know, the big icebergs and ice sheets breaking off of Antarctica, you know, and slamming into the ocean, according to Guy McPherson, have a very good chance of creating tsunamis that will, you know, basically 
wash away coastal cities all over the planet. I hadn't heard that one yet. Uh, I, I have, you know, looked at Guy McPherson's predictions that he's made for what was to happen uh, by now. Guy McPherson has never made a prediction, never once, that I am aware of. Uh, Guy McPherson has never, as far as I know, and I don't pay that much attention, but Guy McPherson's record of making doomsday predictions stands at zero, zero, zero. Okay, there is nothing, not one scintilla of evidence that Guy McPherson has uh, anything more to say about, I, I, I mean, his opinion, his outlying opinion is one of thousands uh, of people, you know, studying this issue. He is one voice in, in an ocean of opinions. As I say, at least the 200 people I have interviewed vehemently disagree with Guy McPherson that humans are going to uh, to be extinct in five years. Not one other reputable scientist, and Sam Carana is not a reputable scientist. Uh, it, 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 it is from the lunatic fringe. Guy McPherson has the source credibility of, you know, uh, Sancho Panza. If, if I were, was a freshman level uh, journalism professor and somebody brought in, an, you know, an article about the subject of human extinction and quoted Guy McPherson as a source, I would probably give the student an F on their paper and point out that this person has zero source credibility. There is nothing in Guy McPherson's record ever that I have been able to determine uh, that gives the man one bit of source credibility to make the absurd prediction that humans are going to be extinct in the year 2026 uh, or even 2030. Uh, none whatsoever. I am not saying Guy McPherson is a clueless moron. Guy McPherson is not a clueless moron. Okay, he understands uh, a lot of stuff about why we are doomed and are going extinct. But this whole thing, uh, uh, this 20 dead by 2026, what it does is it gives all of us a bad name. That uh, to have this, you know, the, the, this, what, it says he's not a clueless moron, and, and I'm not necessarily accusing Guy McPherson of being a serial liar, ignoring the evidence that, uh, that we're not going to be extinct. I honestly have come to the conclusion that Guy McPherson does not believe one single word of his own unadulterated horseshit. I have no clue why Guy McPherson is continuing to promote what he has to know is, is, is absolutely absurd. Uh, it is not my job to try to second guess uh, Guy McPherson's uh, mind. But the bottom line is uh, Guy McPherson has completely failed to convince me and apparently every single human, you know, real person uh, that I have ever interviewed, uh, anybody that I have any respect for in this field of doomology, collapsology, uh, I have, Guy McPherson has not presented to me one scintilla of evidence, not one iota of evidence that humans will be extinct in the year 2026 or 2030. 
whatever year he's throwing a dart at. Uh, I, I have seen zero evidence. I have never heard anybody except Guy McPherson try to present that evidence to me. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with Guy that the blue ocean event is going to happen in the next couple of years. What I have failed to see is one scintilla of evidence that the blue ocean event is going to result in human extinction uh, in, within a couple of years after the blue ocean event. It is going to exacerbate the problems of, uh, of, of global warming and climate change. No shit, Sherlock. There is a big difference between making that statement and saying that it's going to make humans go extinct by the year 2026 20, or 2030. Not one iota of evidence that the blue ocean event is, is going to send humans extinct in the next two years. Uh, so it's really come down to this, if you are, so you, you know basically what that is, you, you know, I call them uh, tongue-in-cheek, the ass-licking toadies, that Guy McPherson is a cult leader. He is a guru uh, of a death cult. I have no idea why he wants to be the guru of a death cult. I have no idea why anybody with a brain would want to join his death cult. I find his death cult offensive on every level. I want nothing to do with his death cult. Uh, and so this is why this channel is a Guy McPherson free zone. This is why this is the first video I have ever had talking about Guy McPherson. Uh, but anyway, before closing, I do want to thank Guy McPherson because I will, as I've been saying for years, Guy McPherson uh, has done more to promote my work on uh, on YouTube than any human being on the planet. My guess is without Guy McPherson promoting my work by calling attention to me, by calling me, you know, a serial liar who ignores the evidence. Guy McPherson, and I really want to thank the man. I, I mean, I'm completely serious that I want to thank Guy McPherson. He has done more than any human on this planet to uh, promote my work. And I really deeply appreciate it, Guy. Uh, all joke, this is not a joke. There would probably be no channel called Collapse Chronicles if it was not for Guy McPherson or any other channel out there on YouTube that you might have heard about would not exist if it was not for Guy McPherson. But I do appreciate it. But that said, I want to get back to my comment to uh, John Thornally. If you are a Guy McPherson ass-licking toady in the, in the Dead by 2026 death cult, I guess that you're welcome to hang around here and try to get deprogrammed. If there's anything I or anyone else on this channel can tell you to deprogram you from the Guy McPherson death cult, feel free to stay around. But if you are one of these people who believe that humans are going to be extinct by the year 2026 and anybody who does not agree with you and your little uh, guru that humans, you, you, you know, as, as John just said, they, you know, alluded to that any channel not making that claim is a worthless channel. Uh, if you honestly believe that, that Guy McPherson uh, is correct and that humans are going to be extinct, I, I want you to unsubscribe from this channel. 
I want you out of here. I want you to go on and hit the unsubscribe button. I like, unlike some other places on YouTube, I like to keep the collective IQ of the comments on this channel a little bit uh, higher than you're going to find over there on, on guys' channels. Uh, and, and as part of raising the collective IQ, uh, I want you to unsubscribe and go away. I have nothing but pity for you. You are unreachable. You are irredeemably clueless. You, you are more clueless than, uh, than climate change deniers. Uh, you, your, your inability to exercise the tiniest modicum of discernment and critical thinking, you, you, you insult my intelligence. I don't want you here. Go away. Leave this channel to people with brains uh, who want to have a serious discussion about this and, and who know damn well there are going to be a hell of a lot more human beings on this planet uh, in the year 2026 than there are in the year 2021. And there are going to be a hell of a lot more humans on this planet in the year 2030 than in, in, than in the year 2026. Now at some point, uh, the lines are going to cross. But uh, if, 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 if you are that unable to, uh, to follow the evidence, uh, just go away and uh, I can't wait to hear what you say in the year 2027 when you find out that Sam Mitchell was right. That there are a hell of a lot more human beings on the planet uh, in, in 2026 than there are now. And anyway, obviously, I am killing the comments on this channel. I have always had a Guy McPherson filter on this channel uh, to filter out the ass-licking, toady, clueless morons. But there will... Uh, anybody ever making a comment from this point forward and I really do apologize for uh, for uh, for my little slip up it will not happen again anybody referring to Guy McPherson and this probably even like includes you book hermit even people be you know agreeing with me about Guy McPherson uh, even if you agree with me your comment will be taken down. I do not want the man anywhere near this channel. So I'm asking you nicely, all of you ass licking toadies, to unsubscribe from this channel and the rest of you think about something else to talk about than Guy McPherson's lunatic fringe, completely uh, ridiculous uh, a, a, a assertion that, that humans are going to be extinct by the year 2026. And anyway, uh, my normie friends are saying, wrap this up. It is time to go get a margarita on this spectacularly gorgeous day and I'm going to get out there and enjoy this gorgeous day while I still can with a group of friends who have never heard the name, never will hear the name, Guy McPherson. Bye, guys.